Okay, standing here at the corner of Willow Springs and Bumpgate Road, all of the runoff from the top of the hill comes roaring down this roadside ditch, goes past this little tree and into a 14 inch diameter culvert pipe. You can see right down there. Goes across the road where the infrastructure was designed to take it. Also, by the way, uh, all of the road that way from a lot, good distance flows down right into that culvert pipe. Comes across the road, discharges out of the same 14 inch diameter culvert pipe. Used to rush straight down the road, taking all the soil and water with it almost immediately down a very steep hillside. Instead, we're uh, using biomimicry, beaver biomimicry, and uh, slowing, spreading, sinking, soaking, and storing the land, the water into the land uh, using bioswales and basically a, uh, well, a contour pattern, a contour biomimicry pattern. So um, this was absolutely covered in cover crops just a few days ago. Um, plant, uh, this was planted Memorial Day weekend, dug and planted Memorial Day weekend 2020. Uh, but we have a bunch of rabbits and deer that love the cover crops. You can see the cover crops still inside the cages, but virtually none outside the cages. And even some of the ones inside the cages look like they're getting nipped on. So maybe that's birds too. Anyway, I was really shocked that the cover crops, the only ones you find are right down in the thickest of the thick brush where the animals just can't get to them. Anyway, I'm off looking for a time-lapse camera. My relatively new Samsung, uh, or new to me Samsung, has this hyperlapse feature I've been playing with, but I can't figure out how to use that anymore. Anyway, coming through the end of the bioswale, uh, this caught about six inches, six and a half inches of rain in a one-week period, uh, Memorial Day weekend, and only on the Thursday after Memorial Day when we got another one-inch rain, pretty hard, fast one-inch rain, only then did it go over the spillway. And because it went over the spillway, we're trying to make these things big enough to, you know, harvest whole hurricanes. Um, so we dug another swale. And here is um, the next swale or the terrace or whatever you want to call it in a series. I'm seeing the grass starting to recover, even though we've had no rain. Uh, you can see this little line of green, I'll point out. That was the existing... See this little line of green right there? That was the existing soil level. So those grasses got scraped off but not dug up or covered up. So down below them, they were dug up and above them, they were covered up with material. But that line of green is the existing grade. And that is also basically the high water mark because we have spillways that are at that level. So what that means is all this water storage, oh, we're on a gas pipeline easement right now, so there was absolutely no digging. You can see all of the grass undisturbed below us. No digging allowed and no digging done. We did make, uh, just like you see down there, whoops, just like you see down there, uh, we have a raised berm that goes across the gas pipeline easement to help bring water from that side to this side. Anyway, once we get over here, we start digging again. Dug down through some reasonably good soil till we got to bedrock. So this is fractured limestone rock. Once this gets some good uh, riparian vegetation in there, uh, any water that comes to this spot, not only is it gonna be filtered through all of the vegetation that we just saw, but it's also gonna be filtered through the roots of the vegetation that's digging into this rock trying to um, access the water. Uh, did some kind of neat things with some enormous oak stumps trying to make this, you know, unusual, interesting, different, and also have some, uh, pay some homage to the Native Americans that uh, designed systems very similar to this that are still functioning for 1800 years. So everything I'm doing is a a large, um, thinking on a large time scale, trying to solve flooding and, and uh, groundwater decline problems 
in terms of generations, not in terms of years or decades. Anyway, um, canceling this one and going to start another one soon. Thanks. Bye.